Good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time you'll be watching this video. Um, just wanted to go over a few things that I missed in my last very long 40-minute video. And those who are watching or have watched, I said I was going to show you how to do certain things that I never got to because, well, the video was going as long as it was and I cut it off and... Through further review, I realized, ooh, I missed a few things that I wanted to show. So, I'm going to show these real quick. And then we will... So this video shouldn't be too long. I'm going to try and keep it about 15 minutes. So, let us go ahead and begin by opening up Unity. So, I realize now that I've just started recording, I should have already placed Sonic at the location I wanted to go to, but it's, it's not going to take me that long to get there. The script that caused him to twist and turn like that and change the camera was shown last yesterday, so feel free to take a look at that on my 30 minute video that I went into it and showed how to do the uh, camera switch that I just caused. So... Stay with me. Like I said before, I should have placed them already there, but I did not, so I apologize. Lighting still needs work, I don't know why it did what it did, but I guess making a dark stage may have not been the best first project. I'm almost there, I promise. Right after this loop coming up. And, if I remember correctly, yeah. I haven't put the, the camera script on this particular loop, the one that I used in the other one, and the one that I showed in my last uh, video. So, after this uh, video, the next time I record, I'm going to have the, uh, what I call the upside down camera script in all those locations. So, the next time you... Uh, the next video after this particular one will have that. I'm doing a second video, well, so early because I forgot to sh show things that I mentioned. Alright, so I remember doing this in last week's uh, video. Notice, there's no bridge right there. Once again, no bridge. And one more time, no bridge. Oops. I'm belching. Too much sodium. Homing attack. Still needs work. I'm probably gonna make this trigger bigger just because. Boom! Bridge appeared. That was the main thing I wanted to show you guys real quick. So we'll go ahead and get on it and not make this video any longer than it has to be. So. Let me go ahead and... All this will be done shortly. I just have to, uh... I'm almost at a stalemate and wondering how to proceed further. I'm going to be putting more buildings like these down so it doesn't look like, hey, the bridge is floating randomly in the air. So, I'm going to... My goal for this particular game is... It's not going to look as good or be as good as the official Sonic Adventure 2 release. 
but Sonic World had a fan release of this, and it literally, honest to God, looks like they took the stage, the same prefabs I have here, slapped them into Unity, put a skybox, and just typed in a few things, and just put some textures and some bad guys. I'm trying to get that middle ground is the best way I would describe it. So, hopefully I can get that middle ground. Alright, so, anyway, on this particular bridge, let me show you the script that's linked to it. Inconsistent line endings. Always gets that. So, bear with me while I flip some stuff out. So, bye guys. Alright, so there we go. Alrighty, ready, 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 back to visual studios on this side. Alright, very simple. The script is attached to the bridge. This line of code right here. Game object dot set active equals false. Excuse me, parentheses false. This particular simple line of code is what makes this particular object disappear. Now you can put this in connection with other things. You can make it where someone hits that particular object and disappears. Someone does this and it disappears. This particular object, I used it incognito with another script to make the bridge reappear at a certain point. In the official release of Radical Highway, damn it. In the official release of Radical Highway, There's a particular, that particular part, I remember, in fact, I just played it recently, where it starts crumbling and exploding, and you see a couple missiles from fighters making a bombing run on it. Whew, that's a work in progress. That's going to take a minute for me to figure out how to work. But I'll be fooling around with animation to make the stuff I need to make. But, needless to say, that is the, uh, official release. I'm going to work on doing something. Once again, like I said, mine's not going to be as great as Sonic Adventure 2, but it's going to be a very, very close middle ground, as I like to call it. So, now I'm going to show you the script I placed on the trigger. So, notice this is the uh, activation of visible. So, bridge I had this bridge, dragged it into this box. I'll show you, I'll try to explain that as best I can after I open the script. Sometimes they'll, when it loads and reloads, it's in inconsistent lines and what they're talking about when that white message shows up is these little brackets right here. If they're not lined up properly, the script won't work. Sometimes they just won't, you gotta click yes and they'll, they'll fix itself. Just make sure you also push save either these lovely buttons up here or the hotkey control s anyway going back to the uh... very simple script public void on collision enter so i made a game object in this script a public game object bridge so bridge dot game object set active is true so it's telling the computer Whatever game object is in the bridge slot, set that as true when this tr script is hit. So, what I had to do, once again, I like to lock it so I don't accidentally move it off. But what I did is I grabbed this particular item, dragged it into here. The reason I can see it is because I made it public. In this case, you need a public field in order to make it work. So, by dragging this in here, going back here, on collision enter, bridge.gameobject.setactive is true. So, it starts off as false, but by hitting this, it becomes true. Just like that. Excuse me a minute, I'm stretching, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, that was one of the things I wanted to show you. And now I'm going to play around real quick with something else just to uh, 
I wanted to, I tried to explain the difference between serialized field and public field last time. And for that I apologize. I didn't do that. So I'm going to try and make a real quick example. And then I will, we will all be on our way. I will be heading to my, uh, to my school campus, or their internet, so both I can upload this wonderful video and do some other things. I'm checking something. Just something. Oh, let me make it something else. Alright. Let me check something. So on average, roughly, serialized field does the same thing. Public. The way it was described in class was public means anybody who works on the project can modify it. Serialized field means nobody else can modify it. But both roughly do the same thing. Both of them allow you to tweak or utilize inside the engine. We're going to test that real fast, and then once again, once I'm done, I'll have you guys on your way. Because I usually use uh, public fields, honestly, and I, my instructor recommended I start using serialized. And from what I can tell, it's because it prevents others from tweaking it, but... I guess I still need more uh, information on it. So, oh, okay, so. I I apologize. I still OBS. I'm gonna try. I really want to find something better. If anybody has any recommendations for something better that I don't have to do a lot of this twisting and out, I will. Okay, so let me go back. I am, uh, I'll recap what I just said. About right, 13 minutes, we'll be all right. All right, so bridge is the one I've already created back in the day. Serialized field is the one that I uh, utilized earlier. So, from what I've been told, and like I said, they're roughly the same thing. Except one basically has more security and less people can fool with your... fool with your stuff because of this serialized... because of the uh, serialized field. That's how I described it. I just made that one... Uh, uh, I just made that one uh, false too. So, it should. Testing this out real quick, and then we'll all be done. So, double checking my work. Double checking. Oh, uh, jack wagon. Alright, so. Good thing. So. Alright, so we'll see how this works. Real quick, we'll test this out. Let's do it. Might not work. I'm not sure. But, like I said before, I wanted to show you guys this stuff real quick. Like I said, I was going to do that. And if you see that red tin under the bar, that's his uh, death zone. Right now, I have the gizmos. 
The reason I can see all these lines right now is because I have the gizmos on. So if I turn the gizmos off, boom, you can't see it. So. I could also turn it down and have the uh, display menu on. I also have another setting in it where it's pause when you hit an error. So when it hits a red error, it'll pause the game. Because there's, even when I'm not playing in full screen like right now, there's been times I've missed errors because I was busy doing other, I don't know, I didn't. Missed the checkpoint, but I know that works. So I'm going to go a different route. Alright. Notice above this moving platform. I created this script with something else I found on Unity. So, come on. Moving a bit quick. Come on. So, that one was created, I created that one myself, following the, a tutorial that I found on Unity, uh, that I found on YouTube. So, next time I do a video, I'll give a quick recap of that as well, that moving platform on my next video, how I did it, and, uh, in that particular video, I'll leave a link to where I found the video for moving platforms for that particular one. But that'll be next next time I, I, I record. I don't know when the next time I'll be when I record it. It might be a week. Seems about average. This one was an exception because I had a few things to knock out. Because I forgot to uh, mention a few things in my last time. That didn't go out. That did not go out, but I think I know why it didn't go out. Remember I said that the reason the glitches flutter like that? In fact, since... Right. We'll add that as a bonus real quick. Shit, damn it. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon my flesh. So, let me grab my white character just so I don't have to play through all of that in a minute so let me save my character from dying real quick sometimes I do this right sometimes I just jack it up even more so let's see let's drop him right here Remember what I said about checking out? <laughs> Oops. Okay! So, oopsie. I, uh, pushed the play button. <sighs> Come on, let's go, Sonic. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Alright, so I'm just pushing him over there real quick, seeing if this is quicker than me playing through the whole bloody stage again. I'm sure you guys don't want me to go through the same loops again. I've already done it. So. Something interesting. Learn from my lessons. Oh, you this quick. Well, we'll just do this. I'll cut some of the level off, maybe not the whole damn thing. Um, some lessons learned. Anything you add, anything you modify, 
anything you touch while you're in play mode in terms of the editor. The moment you press play, the moment you, pre you press, uh, the moment you come out of the editor, the moment that stuff is gone, it doesn't stay, does not save. It can be a good and bad thing. So, remember when you make stuff, when you modify stuff, when you add stuff, that you're in play mode or editing mode. I've made that mistake so many times. I still make that mistake even though I changed the color of my play menu to be a, a blue. Just as a cost of reminder that, hey dummy, you're in play mode. I've still done it. So quick. Alright. So it is not there, but it only removed one layer, so I'd have to put a few more layers to change it, so. Boom. It's all back. No, it's not back! And I think the reason for that is because it's a serialized field and not a public. I honestly don't want to be sure if that's true or not. I need to do some research, but. From my knowledge, that's the difference between a serialized field and a uh, public. That public can interact with other scripts, while a serialized field cannot. That is, from my knowledge, the main difference, and that might have just showcased it. Anybody who's watching this video that knows otherwise, please feel free to call me out and correct me. I am no master. I am but an apprentice, learning in the ways of the force. So, go out of here. So, that is to my knowledge why that didn't work. Because the other bridge showed up, which means I collided with it. So we'll see. I'll have to uh, tweak that a little bit. I'll have to uh, fool around with it just a little bit. Anyway, I'm just going to show you guys one more thing. Something that I've told you about a few times. All right. And I'm not talking about my Sonic or Sally statues that happen to be right here. They're going to be tweaked a little bit in the future. But, alright. Here is this. The fluttering of graphics. Too many textures close together. Where the source that I pulled my uh, information from caused... Uh, this is how it came. So... I've been repairing, uh, fixing it as I go, so I'm just pulling up some of my material real quick. See how it flutters and flickers and flatters and patters? Heh, <laughs> flatters and patters. So, let me show you how I fixed it. I had to go in, and delete the access. Go in, and delete the access. Now, And I might tweak it in a little bit. And boom. See how this piece right here is not fluttering, flattering, fiddle fattering around. All the other pieces around it are. So I've had to do that for everything down the line up to this point in the level. So I'm going to be doing all of this after I press the stop button on my recorder. So that's a real quick easy fix for that if you pull something off the internet to use for your own personal game regardless if it's a Sonic game, Power Rangers, Terminator, whatever game you wish to make. You can do the same thing if you make your own assets, sometimes that can happen too. But that's beyond my skills. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
video is a little bit longer than I wanted, but oh well. I want to thank you for watching. I know that was a quick script, but I told you I was going to look at that last time, and I didn't. So, wanted to come back and fix my boo-boo. And I'm going to do more research on serialized fields because I'm pretty sure I explained it correctly. But I need to correct myself. As I stated before, I'm but an apprentice. I've barely started. I'm only a student, and I'm only getting better and better. And I appreciate you guys tagging along for this journey. So once again, thank you for playing and watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please. What can I say? Continue on this journey with me. Thank you. Leave a comment. And everything like that. And as always, fair winds and following seas.